Using the Canvas Gradebook is an easy and efficient way for you to provide students up-to-date grade information. For this example, I'm going to say that I require students to write three papers, take five quizzes, and complete two exams. I have them turn everything into me on paper while in class, but I want to utilize the Canvas Gradebook to record and display those grades. To get started using the Canvas Gradebook, you'll first need to add assignments to the course so you are able to enter the scores into the Gradebook. To create assignment information in Canvas, I'll start by clicking on the Assignments link on the left navigation bar. Once I'm on the Assignments page, I'll need to create groups for the various types of assignments that are in my course. In this case, I'm going to create three groups. The first group for papers, the second for quizzes, and the third for exams. To do this, I'm going to click on Add Assignment Group. For the first one, I'll type in papers for the title and click on Update to submit it. I'll create the second group by clicking on Add Assignment Group and naming it Quizzes. I'll click on Update again to submit it. And the last group I'll create will be named Exams. Now that I have my groups created, I have the option to choose whether or not I want to apply weights to those groups. In this example course, papers are worth 45%, quizzes are worth 25%, and exams are worth 30% of students' overall grade. These three groups will account for 100% and the total final grade for the course. I'm going to check the weight the final grade based on the assignment groups box, which will give me the option to set how much each of the groups are worth in the final grade. If my course was based solely off points, I don't need to check this box. Now that I've checked the box, you can see the assignment group percentage points are listed on the right hand side. I can simply go over there and change those to what my syllabus says. If you calculate the overall grade by assignment points, you will not check the weight the final grade based on the assignment groups checkbox, but I still recommend setting up assignment groups to keep your assignments organized. Now that I have the groups weighted, I can start creating the assignment placeholders. Like I said before, the course has three papers in the paper group. I'm going to click on the plus icon which appears when my mouse is hovering over the group name. After I click on that plus icon, a new assignment appears. I'm going to give the assignment a descriptive name that corresponds to the name of the assignment on my syllabus. Next, I'll set the due date and determine the point value for the assignment. I'll leave the assignment type set as assignment. Finally, I'll click on Update to finish creating the assignment. You will notice that now the assignment has been included in the assignment group for papers. I'll do this two more times for the other two papers. First, I'll click on the plus icon, name the assignment, give it a due date, and point value. I'll leave the assignment type set as assignment and click on update. Now that I have the papers category complete, I'll do the same for the quizzes and exam assignment groups. 
Because each group is weighted and I'm giving each assignment a point value, Canvas will automatically do the math for you to calculate the final grade for each student at the end of the semester. Now that I have all the assignments included in the course, I'm going to click on Grades, which will take me to the course gradebook. Now that the gradebook is open, you'll see a column for each assignment that we created in the Assignments page. Your students will be listed on the left-hand side, and you can now simply enter the grades for each student by clicking on the corresponding cell in the gradebook table and typing in the score for each student. At any time, you can also export the gradebook as an Excel file by clicking on the gear icon and then choosing Download Scores.